Hello folks, welcome back to our channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing another episode of Medium. And today I'm going to be reviewing the 15th episode of the first season called Penny for Your Thoughts. The episode was directed by Aaron Lipstadt and written by Mo Moira Kurland. And the episode aired on May 9th, 2005 on NBC. So what's this episode about? Basically, in this episode, Allison is going to have a rather scary, terrifying dream in which she's going to see a doctor who has done some pretty horrible things. And uh, basically, <clears throat> what, what this psychotic doctor uh, does is that he rapes and he murders teenage girls, but basically the dream she had of him happened in in the past, and uh, bearing that in mind, she's going to try and find clues as to who this person is and how to stop him from claiming any, any other innocent life, innocent lives, and in, in doing so, she's going to turn to a friend, Lee Scanlon, who's going to try and help her. And uh, basically, sooner or later, she's going to be able to finally um, find out about who this person is. And uh, it turns out that things are harder than they, than they appear to be at first, right? And this episode is going to be pretty... Like, like this, uh, the, the case they're working on is going to be a tough one indeed. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this episode, uh, for, for the main plot, that is. And basically, I didn't mention it, but the doctor, it's, there's actually something about him, about his, uh, about what he does, something about, <clears throat> something about, <clears throat> I apologize for that. Something about an evil spirit and something about possession, right? Evil spirit and possession. I leave you with that because I don't want to spoil the episode or anything. But basically, yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty scary. And uh, the whole plot is going to turn out to be more difficult than uh, than it first appeared to be. Um, when I'm talking about the blood, I mean, how would they, how are they going to be able to solve this murder, this, uh, so, so, so this, these, um, not these murders, this, but how are they going to stop this guy, this, uh, this maniac, right, this murderer. So this is basically it for the main plot. And then, uh, the subplot in this episode or side story is about Ariel. So, Allison's eldest daughter, and basically her teacher, is accusing her of, of uh, cheating. Her math teacher, because she, she, managed, she managed to guess, it's, it's like she, she managed to get the right answers just, just like so easily. Just like so easily that her teacher is convinced that she must have, she must have, she must have found his, <clears throat> his, the, uh, she must have, somehow, she, mu she must have got, she must have been able to sneak past him and uh, get the answers from his desk, from, from the, from his sheet and, uh, written them down on, um, uh, on her own test, but, uh, but yeah, uh, Joe is going to try and, and go there since Allison go to school after their teacher uh, is asking to, uh, her teacher, Ariel's teacher, wants to speak to her parents. She's going to, um, Allison is kind of, since Allison is pretty much caught up with the case, with the case I was talking about, Joe is going to go there and meet this teacher and, uh, Try to explain to him that there's no way on earth his daughter would have would have cheated. That his his children don't cheat, right? His his daughters are raised well, <laughs> and there's gonna be this big 
showdown in a way, this big like confrontation, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty funny in a way, pretty ugly on the other hand, um, and yeah, but yeah, that was an interesting, that was an interesting thing, I, 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 I believe, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, really, Penny for your thoughts was a pretty great episode, I'm gonna get to the, to the characters, to the actors in a moment, but this whole thing about Dr. Charles Walker, who's basically the evil psychotic doctor, Dr. Charles, Charles Walker was a pretty great character, in my opinion, and so scary. And uh, I really loved the fact that there was this spirit possession kind of thing, and uh, a lot of characters were also kind of involved, but I'm not going to spoil it too much. But yeah, pretty much all the actors were great. We have the regular ones, the re recurring ones, the recurring ones, so I'm not going to speak about them uh, because I don't want to spoil, not spoil, but waste too much of your time. I'll just move on to the actors of this episode, the main, uh, the, the, the main, the main actors of this episode, dis despite, um, apart from, uh, despite, apart from the main ones. So we have Kate P P Panna Baker, who plays Alicia, Robert Joy, who plays Dr. Kenneth Holloway. This one I really liked. And I also really liked Alicia. She was pretty great. Dr. Ken Kenneth Holloway. Then we have Mark Shepard as Dr. Charles Walker. Yeah, I didn't mention it, but Dr. Charles Walker has a British accent. It's because uh, it's because he's being played by Mark Shepard, who is a pretty who's a pretty awesome actor in my opinion. Then we have Brent Jennings who plays Wayne, Andy Milder who plays Mister Bowchamp, Bowchamp, uh, who is uh, uh, Ariel's math teacher. Then we have Cass Anver as Doctor McGrath. We have Neela Gorton as Alicia's mother, Lenora May as a mother, uh, Somali Mo Mo Montano as a nurse, Montano. Then we have Ross Wade as a nurse, My Mich Michelle Harrell as a nurse, as another nurse, Linen Zager as a news announcer, and, uh, yeah, but, but yeah, all the actors were pretty awesome. My favorite ones being, um, obviously, Mark Shepard as Dr. Charles Walker, Dr. Charles Walker, Alicia, and Dr. Kenneth Holloway were my favorite ones. Mr. Bouchamp, uh, who was the Ariel's man teacher, was pretty cool, too. And then we have the, the um, uh, the sketch artist from episode four. The sketch artist from episode four who came back as Wayne, uh, who's played by Brent Jennings, who was pretty great in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this episode was pretty great. I really loved it. It was really scary, man. It was one of the scariest episodes, in my opinion, of the whole show, of the whole season. But yeah, it was pretty... It was sent a chill down anybody's spine, I believe, who's watching this this episode, because it sure as heck was plenty scary. And definitely scared me. But yeah, this episode was good. This episode was so good. Like, everything about this episode made sense, and the whole plot and the way it ends was pretty good, too. But it kind of ends with this kind of open ending, in a way... That, like, there might be some uh, follow-up episode, because it's kind of open. But I'll let you find out for yourselves about it, because I don't want to spoil any or anything. I wouldn't do that. So if I were to rate this episode on a scale from 1 to 10, I would easily give it a 9 out of 10. This one is one of my favorites of the show. Pre really pretty awesome, pretty great, very well written, very well um, executed, played out pretty uh, played out perfectly well, in my opinion, almost perfectly, um, but yeah, 9 out of 10 for this episode, nearing 9.5 out of 10, yeah, I think I'm gonna be generous and give it 9.5 out of 10, even, I don't really know, I think something between 9 and 9.5 out of 10, I'm not entirely sure, so something in between 9 a 9.5 out of 10. 9 between 9 and 9.5 out of 10. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. What about you, folks? What did you think about Benny for your thoughts? Did you like the episode? Did you hate the episode? Let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, I can't wait to hear about what you have to say about... I can't wait to hear about what you have to say on this episode. And, and, and yeah, like I mentioned, if I were to read this episode, I believe I'd give it a 9, to be honest. Just 9 out of 10. Sounds sounds like it, it would do it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll share in the next review. Goodbye, folks. Take care. This whole channel for you signing off.